Hello everyone. Welcome to Digi Bytes. I am Vabo Gupta, your all tricks expert, and today we are going to learn about another interesting use case of all tricks based out of batch macro. So why wait? Let's start. So you must now be able to see my all tricks screen. But before going and actually building the Alteryx workflow, let's first understand what type of data sets we are going to work on, what are the different criteria that we have to consider, and how we are going to achieve that in Alteryx. So let's first understand our data set. You can see on my screen that we have two sets of files today. One is sales data sheet and second is sales column match sheet they both are excel files let's see what data these files contains so if i go to sales data sheet i can see there are approximately 15 worksheets in there so what these worksheets contain is uh, they contains the sales data of different stores named by d1 d2 d3 etc of a organization where they sell different sets of products and it contains their sales information what date the sales were done what is the store number and what is the product code or the store code they have so if i go to d2 again the same information d3 again the same information but there is one catch if you see in d1 we have four columns named as sales, state, store number, product code. Now if I go to D2, the sales is sales. But product code has now become product and it's not in the D column, it's in the B column. Now if I go to C, it's store number, it's store number, it's same. And for the D date, date has now become the order date so similarly there is a different changes in different sets of sheets the order of the columns is not same their naming convention is not same so if we try to aggregate these data together in our Alteryx workflow there will be a one challenge because they are not following the same format and the same organization so by organization I mean they are not coming one after another so if in sales suite there are columns which are one two three four then in the sales sheet two they are like one two four three and similarly in other cases so we have to take care of all these criteria when we try to aggregate these data so our task is to aggregate these values together and find out total sales of each product in all the stores so let's see what we have in datasheet 2 so in the datasheet 2 we have the field names which are mentioned in the datasheet 1 where we like store code product name date amount etc so these are called as here original field names so there are different sets of field names that we have in different sheets so all those names have been covered here and what are the expected name or what should be the exact names when we originally want to see the data in the combined form so date should be order date order date should be like order date sales amount both comes as sales product product code product number should be as product similarly store store code store number should be as store so this is our criteria or data on which we are going to work and to achieve aggregated sales for each product we are gonna develop a alteryx workflow using a batch macro so in the process you will understand why we utilize batch macro uh, for solving this because it can easily 
be done using batch macro. So now I'm going to import that data file in my workflow. So first of all, I will be dragging and dropping here the input data tool and selecting the file. So you, as you can see, it is already there in my recent connections, but I will still browse the file so that you get an right idea. So I will go to this sales data sheet here and open it. You can see there are multiple options I can see. The reason is that in this particular sales data sheet contains multiple worksheets. And right now my aim is to import the names of all the list or all the worksheets that I have in this particular file. I will explain you why I want to do that. So right now I will just click on OK. And as you can see here, it is tagged as list of sheet names. And I can see all the sheet names here from D1 to D15. So I will now leave this as it is. Now what I will do is I will create another workflow area and this time I will instead of standard workflow I will do it as a macro and do it as a batch macro. Now here I will drag and drop an input tool and again select that same file so it's this time I will just directly select it from here the recent connections and I will select only the sheet name one I'm not selecting list of sheet names right now I'm selecting the data from D1 sheet I will explain you why I'm doing that so now you see that you can see the path where the file is secondly the sheet name from which the data is coming and the data related to it now I will import one or drag and drop one interface tool which is called as control parameter and I will name it as sheet name what I want to do is I want to create a macro where one by one I will pass the sheet name and based on the sheet name uh, the data is fetched here so I will updating every time a sheet name is passed by this control parameter it will change the path here so the d1 will be changed to d2 d3 d4 and so on so for that I will additionally require an action tool and I will connect it here now what I will do is I will go to the settings of this particular action tool and select the entire path you can see right now is a sales data sheet then the sheet name is d1 dollar every time when the control parameter value is changed from the main workflow so I will replace this d1 only d1 by the control parameter value which will be passed next what I am going to do is I am going to import the second sheet here as well and the sheet name will be the sales column match sheet where we have the expected and the original column names so I will import it as it is now if you can see what I have achieved till now is I have been able to grab the data from the sheet individually and uh, able to like update their names so that whenever a sheet name is passed a data can be fetched for that particular worksheet in that excel file now i want to change the correct names so as you see in the file one we have field names like data order date sales amount product product code but it should be like order date sales product and store only so for doing that I will be using one dynamic renaming tool so you can directly search here for dynamic rename ok 
okay sometimes it hangs but let's try again okay Okay, somehow it's not coming from here so what we are going to do is we will directly track that tool here so any guesses where we can find it in developer yes that is correct so I just tracked the dynamic rename from the tool palette and on the left hand side I will be like connecting it with the data that I have and on the right hand side I will be connecting it to the data where the actual columns are there so in the configuration what I am going to do is I will be taking field names from the right input rows and old field name from columns original field name and new field name from column is expected so what I am doing is I am replacing the values which are or the column names which are named here with the values which have written in this expected field name so let's see just run a macro for this particular workflow or I mean for this particular file so now if you can see sales is sales order date is order date store is store product is product so initially what it was store number store number has been changed to store product code has been changed to product and this is what we have store number has been changed to store product code has been changed to product so now the second task is I wanted to like continuously sum up all this data together and want to see the sales in total so my first target is achieved so I will now save this macro I will try to save this macro and uh, what I am going to do is I will go to this C drive I will go to C drive and I will just upload or I would say save the macro and name it as sales macro And now I will import this macro here. So you can see when I imported this sales macro, it asked me to select the field through which I want to pass the sales sheet parameter name. So what I am doing is I will select the sheet names which I am grabbing from this. Now this has been passed and at the same time what I am going to do is I will add an additional output macro or I would say output anchor through which I will be getting all the data. So I will name it as output and I will anchor abbreviation as O and save it so again when I go to workflow it will say that the macro has been changed as we saved it with the, some changes and okay so earlier there was no anchor because I added the output macro here it added that anchor here so by this anchor so I can get the exact data that I have been passing here 
so let's see let me run this now so if you can see now i have only four columns not those six seven columns and i have sales data from all the files together but right now the challenge you can see is we have different values in different columns so what i mean by that is uh, in the product column i have date and in the store column again i have date and similarly interchanging of the data in different fields and why it occurred because the ordering of the column in different sheets was different they were not mapped accordingly so in the sales mm -hmm. uh, or i would say in the sheet one the data was in sales order date store product but in this sheet two it might be like sales store order date product so there was a different ordering due to which the values got updated in the this way so how we can handle this situation is i will again go to the sales macro and add a summarize tool here and what i will do is because we want to calculate the total sales based on store product order date so i will just group by on the basis of product then on the basis of store then on the basis of order date and i will sum up the sales now i can not see the sum active and the reason is the type of the sum field is not correct so or i would say the type of the sales field is not correct what i will do is i will just go to the select column and change the type of the sales to double and try to rerun it and check if everything looks correct yes it looks correct the sales are in double form and i would i will do is now i will again try to add sales now this time i can see it some sales and i will save this macro now and it's change it and i will run it now so now you see all the records are in the same order so the product store order date and sum of sales so we have been able to achieve this output or outcome that we wanted to achieve via this batch macro what we did we simply passed the sheet names we created a macro where we took the first sheet as a reference and based on the sheet names passed as a parameter we updated those sheet names in the path and grabbed the entire data and also change the column names based on original field name and expected field name and generated the output and at the end we can see all the data is in the correct format so this is what we wanted to achieve via this particular batch macro or use case if you have any questions any queries related to what we can do differently or if you have any suggestions you can make comments on the youtube video here and i will get back to you with the answers or different ways what we can do thank you everyone